Milano and I'm awesome. Okay everyone, today we'll be talking about uh, the franchise of Halo, which has first begun in 2001 by Bungie and continued on to today, and even more so uh, with uh, 343. Uh, okay, so first let's start off with the introduction. Uh, Halo is a multi-billion dollar science fiction video game franchise created by Bungie and is now man managed by 343 Industries and owned by Microsoft Studios. The series centers on an interstellar war between humanity and a theocratic uh, alliance with aliens of aliens known as the Covenant. The Covenant are led by the religious leaders, the prophets, and worship an ancient civilization known as the Forerunners, who perished in combat with the uh, parasitic blood. Many of the games center on the experiences of Master Chief, John 117, a cybernetically enhanced human super soldier, and his AI companion, Cortana. The term Halo refers to the Halo, ring, uh, Halo rings, rather large habitable structures that were created by the Forerunners to destroy the Flood. They are similar to orbitals in Lane and Banks culture novels and author Larry Niven's uh, Ringworld concept. The game in the series have been praised as being among the best first-person shooters on a video game console, and are considered the Xbox's killer app. This has led to the term Halo Killer being used to describe console games that aspire or are considered to be better than Halo. Fueled by the success of Halo Combat Evolved and immense marketing campaigns from publisher Microsoft, its sequels went on to break various sales records. Uh, Halo 3 sold more than um, $170 million worth of copies in the first 24 hours of release, all of that in US dollars. Um, which broke the record by Halo 2, uh, by Halo 2, uh, three years prior. Halo Reach, in turn, broke the uh, record set by Halo 3, selling $200, uh, $200 million worth of copies on its first day of release. Continuing the trend, Halo 4 broke Halo Reach's record on its opening day by grossing $222 million in US money. The game has sold over 50 million copies worldwide, with the games alone grossing almost $3.4 billion. Strong sales of the games led to the franchise's expansion to other media. There are multiple best-selling novels, graphic novels, and other licensed products. Halo Wars took the franchise into a new game, uh, video game genre territory as it is a real-time strategy game while the rest of the games in the series are first-person shooters. Beyond the original trilogy, Bungie developed the expansion of Halo 3, ODST, and a prequel, Halo Reach, their last project for the franchise. A high-definition remake of the game, entitled Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary, was released on November 15, 2011, exactly 10 years after the release of the original. A new installment in its second tri trilogy of games, Halo 4, was released on November 6, 2012. The cultural impact of the Halo series has been compared by uh, writer Brian Bendis to that of Star Wars. The collective group of fans of the series is referred to as the Halo Nation. Now for the cultural impact, the main trilogy, and particularly its protagonist, has been declared iconic and a symbol of uh, today's video games. A wax replica of Master Chief was made by Madame Tussauds in Las Vegas where Pete Wentz um, compared the character to notable characters from previous generations like Spider-Man, Frodo, and Luke Skywalker. The escapist author Roger Travis compared Halo's story to Virgil's Aenid, uh, saying the religious and political struggle be described in the game relates to the modern epic tradition. James TM, uh, Games TM uh, stated uh, Halo Combat Evolved changed video game, and, uh, video game combat forever and Halo 2 showcased Xbox Live as a tool for communities. Uh, Game Daily noted Halo 2's launch was easily compared to the biggest in other sectors of the entertainment industry, marking the first time a video game launch has, been, has become a major cultural event in America. Uh, Time mag Magazine included the franchise in 2005, Time 100, uh, highlighting that in the first 10 weeks after the release of Halo 2, Players spent 91 million uh, combined hours playing the game online. That's a lot. A uh, the New York Times report noted the success of Halo, Halo 3 was critical for Microsoft, 
persuading consumers to buy the Xbox 360 console, which was experiencing more uh, waning sales compared with the Nintendo Wii, as well as helping restore the console's image. On September 25, 2007, the release date for Halo 3, Microsoft uh, shares rose 1.7% uh, based on sales expectations for the game. Halo has been described as a series that has reinvented a genre that didn't know it needed to be reinvented, with aspects of the main trilogy being uh, duplicated in other FPS games multiple times. Okay, now going on to uh, Master Chief. In an article in Time, uh, Larry Crossman stated that uh, the Master Chief that Master Chief uh, represents a new kind of celebrity for a new and profoundly weird millennium, and is a symbol of the increasing legi legitimacy of video games as, a, as an art form. Asher Moses of the Sydney Morning Herald uh, simply described the Chief as iconic, um, electric and gaming monthly, and Empire wrote that Master Chief had become the de facto symbol for Xbox and for a new generation of gamers to boot. The recognition of Master Chief has uh, spread to mainstream culture. Madame Tossin in uh, Las Vegas has developed a wax sculpture of the Chief. At the ceremony, Pete Wentz of Fall Out Boy uh, said that the Master Chief is as much of a hero today as characters like Spider-Man, Frodo, and Luke Skywalker were for previous generations. Downs only uh, realized that his uh, character was set as such a huge hit after children lined up around the block for his autograph. And about a year after the game shipped. Uh, reaction to the Master Chief as a character is mixed. Uh, some reviewers see the character's side of nature as a strength. Others have said that his quality leaves him insufficiently developed and not believable. Uh, UGO um, ranked the Master Chief at number 8 on his 2007 list of top heroes of all time. Ahead of a fellow video game character, Sam is Aaron, Link, and Gordon Freeman. In 2009, Game Daily listed the strong and silent type among uh, top 25 uh, video game archetypes using Master Chief as an example. Uh, Master Chief was also ranked number 8 in Empire's list of greatest video game characters. In 2009, GameRadar uh, included him among the 25 best new characters of the decade. UGO listed Master Chief's trademark helmet in its 2011 list of coolest helmets and headgear in video games. And in 2012, Game, and Games Radar uh, then again ranked him as the 8th most memorable, influential, and badass protagonist in games, commenting Chief isn't the strongest more, or most crafty hero, and he isn't particularly charismatic or intelligent or playful, but when civilization is on the line and all other options have been exhausted, Chief is the guy who's going to get you through. Conversely, in listing the top 10 choices for most overrated video game characters, IGN placed the Master Chief first, suggesting that the real appeal of the games was not their protagonist but the multiplayer mode. In, other listing, in another listing of the top 10 video game characters that needed to die, IGN suggested that the most dramatic death of the character could be one of the most powerful events in game. Chico Central featured him in 2011 list of top 10 most overrated video games character for being rather bland. Now what do you think about that? Remember this guy? Well, you probably don't because he hasn't shown up in a long time, probably just only once if I remember correctly, just for his farewell video. And uh, happy birthday video. Uh, he started it all, uh, he's the original creator of YTJ, uh, Ali. Hi there. This is uh, I've seen a friend of his parents, and the reason why I have not been showing up in the channel is because uh, I joined the Navy. I'm back. I actually, been back since a month ago, and I'm here to join Camille Milano and as a guest in her video to talk about Halo. Me and Camille, we love Halo, but uh, we didn't get onto it since uh, 2000. In 2010, when we bought Reach, mm -hmm. Reach was actually our first Halo. I actually got it. Who got it? Who got who into Halo? You or me? No, it was me. I got you into Halo, right? Yeah, in the story. Yeah. Wait, I thought we got uh, Halo 3 first, didn't we? No, it was actually Reach. Uh, Reach, we, we, I got Reach because I wanted to get views. I didn't get it because I wanted to. Mm -hmm. But then I ended up liking Halo. Yeah. So thank God I was greedy with views, you know. <laughs> so yeah, we first got Reach. 
you know, which is a good thing. It was actually the or it was actually the backstory of it, you know, so we can understand it. So then I, I ended, we ended up liking it. So we ended up getting Halo 3, ODST, Halo Wars, Halo Combat Evolved, Halo 2, Halo Anniversary, just because we want to play the remastered version, and then up to Halo 4. That was fucking the shit. I love that. Oops, should have cussed, but whatever. I love that. It was outstanding. We waited at the midnight launch and we got the. Oh, yeah. She got. I got her the limited edition console, and I got myself the limited edition, you know, Halo 4 package. Great. So when we got Halo 4, it was actually one week before I left for boot camp. So thank God I had played it for one week before I left. Otherwise, that would have sucked. I would have spent boot. I would have spent boot camp wondering, hmm, how Halo was. What's going on with Master Chief? Yeah. What the hell's going on with that guy? But overall, yes, I I love I love Halo. I don't think this would have influenced us to buying the Xbox 360 because we got the Xbox 360 in 2009, not because of Halo, not because of Gears of War either. We got it from Left 4 Dead. Yep, surprisingly enough. So now, now that we love Halo, um, I think buying uh, buying Halo has impacted us. I'm going to continuing to be uh, fans of Microsoft and their system. To keep on, yeah, to keep on supporting, yeah, to keep, keep on, on being hooked on Xbox. Yeah. If it wasn't for that, I think we would have been playing, I think, PS3 or even the Wii more, huh? I don't know about PS3, nothing maybe, really. Maybe, maybe not. Nothing really bad. I, think, I you, think we still would have been uh, hooked on Xbox, just not as much, you know, yeah. about Halo. And then again, yeah, there's still gears, but yeah, it, it is, it's, it's a, it does have an impact on yeah, us. Yeah, it has a great impact on us. Wow, well, no, we spent like $600 on launch. <laughs> It's a lot of money. So overall, I love the character. Master Chief is awesome. I think he actually influenced me in joining the Navy. That way I could somehow hope to get at least part of his rank, like Chief, Senior Chief, or even Master Chief. Yep. Yeah. Here's Kimmy Milano and John Barrett, and hopefully you enjoy the video. And nice to be back, and nice to see you guys, and nice for you guys to see me too. Outstanding. See you later.